Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I enjoy covering topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog I'd like to continue to talk about some tips that are probably essential to um, individuals on the spectrum and their families and their um, special education teachers and their case managers and their caregivers and their current and potential employers and anyone who lives in the community around them and who is just involved in their lives. And what I'm doing is I want to give advice now to the family members that have kids in school. And now, uh, for those of you who know, there are, I don't know how many people that uh, send their kids into through the special um, education system in a public school. And I'm sure you've heard the bad news time after time after time again by these uh, special education teachers who happen to um, look at somebody's intelligence quotient. And, and if you think of intelligence quotient, you can think of the words IQ and they have an IEP which is an individualized education plan and what the what the IEP does is uh, it provides special accommodations for the child you know to um, have a you know have a fair education well unfortunately a lot of these special education teachers and these uh, school psychologists that uh, happen to take a look at the deficits. I mean, they focus on what the child can't do rather than what they can do. And a lot of them, like myself, I got denied a proper education because of their small minds. I was not allowed to uh, take up chemistry or physics. I mean, if I could take those, it was um, in a classroom where I was, you know, in high school and junior high, where I was taking fourth grade level science, not advanced science. And possibly, part because I didn't want to study and so it probably gave him the idea but that's a problem with a lot of our special education systems I mean they don't want to listen to the parents they want to chew them up and spit them out they want to brainwash them in thinking that their child is broken and they need to be quickly fixed or otherwise they have to live in a group home or they yeah, cannot have a proper education or they can't have a regular job because of this deficit or because of that deficit and it's just really nerve-wracking and what I wanted to mention to you guys is I don't like the term disability first off it's a very derogatory term and that's because I mean the, the term disability I mean I hear it used so much it just makes me sick I've heard people love manipulate the term disability to get what they want like oh yeah I have a disability this is because of my disability that I behave like that and I'm sick of hearing the word disability and then you know uh, when you have a label on you and you try to t mention to someone that you're not disabled people can look at you like well then what are you so I like human detour system but getting back on topic and focus okay let's say you have a child that's in um, the special education systems and they're being denied the right to take an advanced math they're, uh, they have to take a baby math and let's say the teachers are too stubborn at that school and you think that their child can do your child can do a lot better than what the special education teachers come up with so I wanted to mention two things if you're not happy with it a you can either work around that problem and have that child uh, do some learning on their own spare time and they could possibly t uh, you could probably take them to tutors or you could uh, send them to some online softwares where they could learn on their own and just learn and learn and learn and then uh, by the time they uh, they get out of there when they're 21 they could possibly look at uh, getting a GED and well after they're, they've gotten their GED they could possibly look at um, joining a two-year college or possibly uh, studying for an SAT and if you pass you can get into a university so it's not the end of the world just because your kid is in special ed now there's a whole big world out there so uh, there's a whole big world out there and there's nothing wrong with your child there's something wrong with the special, educa the special education teachers I think they're unrealistic and they live in a fantasy world themselves and then um, Another option you could do is if you don't want your child in the special education system there and you can't afford a public school or I mean a private school, sorry, 
you could possibly uh, homeschool them or hire a tutor if you have the money or have them learn on their own independently. I mean, I do that. I mean, I found out after school that I can learn on my own and that I can teach myself things. So anyway, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to state below.